Hey everyone, it is Sam's Club Grocery Haul Day today and I have practically no voice because of affairs and allergies. So, apologize ahead of time for that. But I am going to show you what I picked up just from Sam's Club for today. There's a couple of non-grocery items. I spent close to $300, I think. I'd have to go back and look on the digital receipt. If you want to see the members only post where I share the meal plan for this grocery haul, click the join button below for more information. I'm going to start with also a couple more non-grocery things so one of the things we do is whenever we uh because we don't we try not to go to sam's every single week but as a large family there's just some stuff that's cheaper to just buy at sam's every week um but when we do about every six months or so we do stock up on things like ibuprofen and acetaminophen for to have at home and then uh we also have like smaller bottles that matt and i carry for like work or backpack or stuff like that this is the vitamins that the kids have switched to. They're for women, and since I have all teenagers now, I thought the women's multivitamin might be better for them than just the kids' ones. Even though I've heard there's actually not a huge difference, but they like the flavor of these as well, and they're a little more affordable than the ones I was buying for them anyways, and they seem to enjoy these and that these are working just as well. So, yeah. I also picked up one big bag of um, baby carrots. Try shopping for baby carrots on Good Friday before Easter. Yeah, Sam's was crazy today. We also picked up one bag of Halos because I'm trying to keep her immune system up while everybody sounds like me right now. One bag of Southwest chopped salad, one large container of spring mix. I normally don't buy English muffins, but one of my favorite Sam's Club employees was doing samples of those today. And he's one of those people that like is kind to everybody. And I just, I was like, you know what, fine. So we're going to uh, put these, well, I may put one of these in the freezer and then we'll snack on one of these th through this week. Um, so like, if you don't see like a whole double pack of English muffins in the, in the meal plan, you'll know why. Because some of it's not actually going to be used this week. I also picked up one bag of the Honey Almond Granola. Let me know guys if you have a Sam's membership. I think was getting granola from Sam's before and it did not have almonds in it because we have a huge bag of almonds and walnuts and we get them gifted a lot because people send us like surplus at food banks getting things because you know when you have four kids people think that you're always needing food which is true but um so we have like a lot of almonds I just wanted the honey granola but I can't find just granola anymore at Sam's that don't have nuts in them which I thought was nuts yeah <laughs> and also we picked up one bag of the milk chof milk chocolate toffee truffles these are little snacks that matt kind of snacks on in the evenings i try to get him a bag every time i go to sam's this is for me pretzel chris pretty sure they have gluten in them i can handle some gluten i'm gonna handle that gluten <laughs> we also picked up one box of the uh barilla pasta it has uh, two boxes of penne two bags of spaghetti or no it does come in boxes of spaghetti and then two boxes of elbow macaroni. And also, because I sound like this, just went ahead and picked up a thing of Kleenex. I will try to, if I can remember, if Editing Brain can remember this while I'm editing this. Um, there were also several Scan and Go things for Easter weekend, and I'll try to share those um, as well. Let me put this first batch away, and then I'll show you the cold items that, well, other than salad stuff, the cold items that we picked up. Cold items for today. We went ahead and picked up two more bags of these chicken wings. They had them back in stock this week. We also found this for the first time at Sam's Club. This was also on sample today. They had a lot, they have a lot more samples the weekends of holidays, but it's also really busy. Like, that's the sacrifice you make to do that. But they had cabbage cheese on sample. And I'm glad that we did sample this. Because I didn't know that cabbage cheese had a pepper jack. And the reason why we really like uh, cabbage cheese is no lactose. So, to find a lactose-free cheese that's not a super sharp cheddar. And to find one that's pepper jack, which is my lactose intolerance, one of her favorite kinds of cheese... That was a plus for us. For those of us who can have lactose, this whole milk honey vanilla Greek yogurt is really, really good. And I have also, I know this is really, really highly debated, but I think the whole milk is actually better for you. And I think you get more vitamins and nutrients from it. And I've been on a detox that involves like mixing in yogurt with it. And I found that I was still having the same equivalent uh, progress this week with the whole milk one versus the uh, 
low fat ones that I was using. So I may stick to using this one as long as they stock it up. We still had quite a bit of the uh, second one we bought last week. So we only bought one for this week. These are the Trevani Complete's I was showing you last week because I was like, hey, I couldn't find lactose free yogurt at Sam's. <laughs> These are lactose free. So my lactose free child is going to be splitting this one. So I don't have orange juice, but here we go. Uh, yogurt for those of us who can have lactose and then for the yogurt shakes for those of us who can't. I know it's not quite the same as the orange juice pun. Hope you guys like it. But yeah, this has no lactose in it, but uh, it has mixed berry. It's mixed berry vanilla and strawberry cream. There's four of each flavor in here. So like uh, half of it will go to Matt and then half will go to my lactose free one for next week. And then uh, let's see, we also have one Stouffer's lasagna with meat sauce. For a while, I wasn't liking the Stouffer's ones because I felt like they barely put any cheese on them and they were more saucy than anything else. But uh, we did like the last Stouffer's one we picked up from Sam's. And Sam's does things different. Sam's quality is better than just like a Walmart because a lot of places around here like restaurants. I don't, I'm not saying restaurants use Stouffer's, but a lot of restaurants stock up from Sam's. So Sam's, I feel like, tries to go above and beyond with things that they offer of quality. Like these chicken wings are fantastic. Uh, having a Cabot cheese, it's pepper jack. Having a whole milk honey vanilla Greek yogurt, you need to add nothing to this. It's fantastic. So yeah, so we are switching to getting Sofers from, or Sofers lasagnas from Sam's Club. Plus also for our family, that's a meal. So I also picked up one of the uh, pure organic raw and unfiltered honey because when we don't have yogurt we need honey in it now we can have it like teas and things um i am loving these ciabatta they're whole grain and i have found that for me my uh sensitivity to gluten is stuff where they add excess gluten to make something fluffy these don't really qualify for that so from like somebody like me that has just a slight sensitivity to gluten these are just fine and then um we also picked up one box of the cinnamon french toast sticks Last but not least, our personal product items um, or hygiene items. We picked up body wash for everybody today except Matt's. We had to go to Walmart, which you saw yesterday because you all seem to like the Walmart Aldi whatever on Tuesday and the Sam's on Wednesday, which the only downside to that is I think they might have already swapped out the scanning guys. I don't know, but I just go ahead and share anyway. Sometimes the scanning goes do carry over, but let me show you. Um, so the Olay. The reason why I went ahead and bought this one is because it's a non-scented, it's a moisturizing, renewal, all of that, and it's not a pump. These two are pumps. They really like the Dove soap, but I don't like pumps because usually with pumps, then you usually are going to have more waste with pumps and with the pumps we have also found with multiple people taking showers, sometimes the water gets inside the pumps, which I'm hoping with these they don't. And then it waters it down so i'm not a fan of like pumps and then like when i went to look at ones for matt all they had were pumps and then like anything with exfoliating that's a pump it's going to get clogged like it, it, it's going to happen it will become clogged so i'm not a fan of it so i went ahead and picked these up one of these is going to go to my bathroom because there's only one of me and there's four of them and then matt uses his own so one's going to my bathroom for stock up and then the other four will go to their bathroom for stock up and that is it for sam's club thank you to all of our members for supporting this content and allowing us to continue making videos and thank you every single one of you for liking watching positive comments and subscribing and we'll see you next time hopefully with less sinus congestion mm -hmm.